Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my new product called Plaid Pattern Maker. The goal of this resource is to help you make plaid patterns um, quicker in Photoshop. In the description below, I will leave a link to where you can check out this product. After purchasing the Plaid Pattern Maker, these are the files that you will receive. And I'm going to go through each of these to show you how you can more quickly create plaid patterns in Photoshop. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our two Photoshop documents. This first one here is a template set, 20 digital papers. Go ahead and click to open that one. And this one right here is to create a um, plaid swatch. So it's designed with a 1200 by 1200 um, size artboard and you can go ahead and open that as well. So here is our Photoshop document that is designed to help you make a swatch of your pattern. Before we can begin, let's go ahead and load in the Photoshop patterns that I've designed to help you create plaid patterns. So, so first you'll wanna open your patterns panel. If you do not see yours, go ahead and go to window and select patterns here. Uh, currently I have mine open here. And then we want to load the Photoshop patterns that I have created for you. So you're gonna click on this three line icon and then you wanna select import patterns. Go ahead and navigate to your files and then under the Photoshop patterns here, here you'll see two pattern sets that you can load into Photoshop. We have plaid pattern maker and then we have plaid patterns for color. So go ahead and click on those and click to open them. So here at the top I have them loaded here in Photoshop. We have our plaid pattern maker and we have our plaid patterns for color. So in both of these folders they contain the exact same pattern files. They're just organized differently. So I decided to do it this way. To Depending on how you like to work with these patterns, you might find you like one organization versus the other. So I wanted to be able to include them both uh, for you here. So in this first one, Plaid Pattern Maker, let's go ahead and click the drop down arrow. We have various patterns for grid lines, diagonal grid, um, vertical line, horizontal, diagonal going up and diagonal going down. And then looking at the grid lines here, we have four different versions of our pattern. So if we open up the first one here, so orienting you to uh, this document here, we have a solid color background layer, and then there are four different pattern layers with um, different colors here. So we'll select this first layer. I'm gonna pick one of these patterns from this version one section. So let's just go ahead and choose um, this double line pattern here and as we can see it uh, fills in our pattern there and what you'll know is that version one and then we'll drop down version two here uh, coordinate to each other so we have the um, version one here and then on the edge here it would be version two so let's go ahead and pick that same style here and we have it as the version two um, versus if we close down version two, version three, version four would be the opposite. We have version three here and then version four there. So here we see the start of a plaid pattern based off of our four different versions. Within Plaid Pattern Maker, I also give you some actions that you can use. So let's go ahead and load that into Photoshop here as well. You want to make sure that your actions panel is open. If you do not see it, go ahead to Windows and select Actions here. Currently, I have mine set to button mode. Um, to change back, I'll just click on this icon here and then just unselect button mode. And then here, you'll want to uh, click on that icon again and then you're going to load your action. So we're gonna click on load actions. Go ahead and navigate to your files and then the file you're looking for is this patternmaker.atn um, which is Photoshop's version for actions. So just go ahead and click on that here and click open. So I have it here in uh, Photoshop Pattern Maker here. I'm gonna hit the arrow down. And we see uh, 10 uh, different actions here. So this first one, pattern preview on and off, we'll go ahead and select it there and then we'll hit the play icon here. And this is one of the nice features with Photoshop um, 
the pattern preview mode. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out command or control with the minus key here is it allows you to see how your um, tile swatch repeats um, in real time here. So if we test it out with a, another pattern here, so we'll jump to uh, this third one here and we'll go ahead and add that um, same pattern here. We'll just change them all to our new pattern. Um, it fills in that area. We can see how it repeats and then we'll jump to our version four and we'll do that same one here. Uh, we can see our repeating um, plaid pattern here. And with that action, you can easily turn it off again if you want, just hitting uh, the play button uh, to turn it on and off uh, to see that repeat there. Uh, to demonstrate these next um, actions here, I'm going to open up a new document. So we're going to go to File, New. Um, I'm going to use the same dimensions as our previous. We have our 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, and then I'm just going to go ahead and create the document here. So looking at these actions, we have our new pattern layer, we have pattern test, and then we have uh, numbers all the way up to eight. And what that indicates is how many different color pattern layers you're going to get. So say for instance, we um, try out this pattern test five. We'll go ahead and th hit that play button here, and we'll see that there are five different color layers with pattern layers, and then we have our uh, background layer here. Uh, so let's go ahead and test out some of these um, patterns here. And what you'll notice is we have um, some solid versions, and then we also have kind of our buffalo plaid. And then you have it in grid style, and then you also have it in a diagonal style as well. So let's play with our diagonal grid here. Starting at the bottom color here, I'm going to choose my um, one of my version one patterns here. And then let's go ahead and bring that pattern preview mode on again, hitting that play button. And then we'll zoom out just so we can see how our plaid pattern is looking. So we have our version one. And then you can select a version two. Uh, maybe we try one of these buffalo plaid versions here. And then we will see our version three. I'll select one of these ones here. And then we'll select that same one for version four. And here we have um, a pattern that is uh, progressing here. And one thing that you can always do is you can always uh, double click on your pattern layer. And if you want it to be like not perfectly aligned um, in how it is, you could always just kind of play with how you want it to be oriented um, with your patterns here. And we still have uh, one more layer to go. We can see our pink polka dots there. Um, but just to uh, show you that there, that you can kind of play with how you um, want your pattern to lay. And then if you want to get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin to see it there. And then we have one more pattern layer here. And so this yellow one's a little bit thicker. Maybe I can lay another pattern on top of it. So I'm going to go back to the version one here. And then let's pick our, just the thin one here, and we can add it. Maybe we want to change the color. Uh, let's just see how um, white looks on top of it. There. Um, and you can just kind of play with it that way. Uh, maybe we try the uh, thin uh, buffalo version here on top of it there. And so it's just a way to and so these uh, pattern test wins are just if you want to create a pattern with multiple colors, I want a pattern that uses seven different colors, I want a pattern that uses eight different colors, you can quickly test it here and play with these different uh, Photoshop patterns to create your uh, plaid pattern here. And then we also have this new pattern layer here. Um, so to use that one, you'll just kind of go to the top of your list or um, top or wherever you want to add in that color and then you just click on new pattern layer and it will generate another pattern fill layer with its color so you can add another layer there and then let's go ahead and pick a pattern for this new one here and we try maybe just this thin one 
And again, you can double click and kind of move it around uh, depending on how you want it to, uh, to be positioned. And then you can always change out the color and see how it looks. So, uh, so this is just one way in which you can use these actions along with the uh, provided patterns just to create unique uh, plaid patterns here in Photoshop. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back into um, this original document here um, that's included with uh, your purchase here, which is the pattern swatch at 1200 by 1200 pixels here. And so let's go ahead and collapse these here. So we have our plaid pattern maker set and then again, and then we have our plaid patterns for color. So again, these are the exact same patterns, just organized differently. So we have our grid lines, dyadical lines, vertical, horizontal in um, each of those categories there. And so let's try our diagonal grid here. And in this case, it's they're grouped together by the specific um, pattern type for four different colors. So in this document, you'll notice there are four different colors here that correspond that you can use with these here. So we'll pick this first uh, layer here and then let's go ahead and try um, this diagonal grid uh, stripe small. So you'll see here that each of the four different versions are grouped together that you can easily access them and change out your pattern here um, if you want to uh, quickly use them together uh, for four different colors and then here under the vertical horizontal diagonal up diagonal down um, in this case you can just create patterns that are um, also uh, just stripe patterns they don't have to be um, specifically plaid patterns but you also have um, the option to create horizontal stripes vertical stripes and diagonal stripe patterns as well uh, using these patterns and then if you find that you have a pattern that you want to save you can always go to edit define pattern here or you can click on this plus icon uh, before I do that, I'm just going to create myself a new folder. That way it's not saved within this original one here. So I'm just going to title it Plaid Patterns. We have it selected here. And then I'm just going to hit that plus icon. It allows you to name your pattern. Clicking on OK here and I can see my newly created pattern here that I can use in another document if I want to. Also included in Plaid Pattern Maker is this 20 paper um, template set that you can customize to um, whatever you want. Change out the patterns here to uh, save your own digital paper sets here. So just zooming in command or control with the plus key here, just looking at the various sets here. If we open up this first uh, pattern layer here, we can see the uh, different colors. So um, we can easily uh, double click on this smart object and we can uh, select a new color. Let's go ahead and try it with these Christmas uh, colors here. So we'll just pick a green color here. I'm going to save it, Command or Control S, and then closing it out, Command or Control W. And then let's just adjust these colors here. We'll pick this light green, Command or Control S, Command or Control W to close it out. We'll do a red color here, Command or Control S to save it. Command or Control W to close it out. And we'll go one more. This time let's use the brown. Let's go Command or Control S to save it. Command or Control W to exit out. And we have our um, templates have been adjusted. So we can see um, the various colors with our um, different patterns to see how they look here. And then as you scroll down, you'll see the different patterns here. So if we wanted to so if you wanted to change a pattern, let's try it with this um, pattern set here. Let's go ahead and change out this layer. I'm going to double click into this smart object and it shows us our pattern. And by the look of it here, I know that this is a version 2 pattern. And just as you start to utilize these um, pattern sets, you'll realize which ones are version 1, version 2. 
So moving back to my plaid pattern maker set, I'm going to open up my diagonal grid. I'm going to access the diagonal grid version 2 here, and then I can choose from my uh, various solid ones or my various um, buffalo plaid ones. So let's try one that has slightly different version. So we can save that here, command or control S to save it. And then we can jump back in to that set and see how it looks. Zooming in there and you can, so now we have a different uh, plaid version than we did before. And we can do the same here, we'll double click. So this one's a version one, maybe we change it to the corresponding uh, version one. So we will go here, we'll save that one, Command or Control S, um, Command or Control W to close it, and we have our new plaid pattern here. And so what's fun is you can mix, mix and match different styles. Um, we have the stripe versus the houndstooth, we've got the two stripe um, version, and, and different things like that. So this is just a, a fun, um, set of patterns that you can use to help you build out your plaid patterns. And I like to work with templates when creating my digital paper packs. And so this is a um, template that I wanted to include that you can use to help create your own um, plaid pattern pack that's easy um, to customize uh, to what you want. And then um, in this case, if you are good with your patterns and you want to save them out, just go ahead and go to File, Export. And then from here, you're gonna go to Artboards to Files. You wanna select your destination, so just click on the Browse button. Uh, select your folder and then just click to open it here. And then you can give your pattern, your file name. So we're gonna go Christmas Plaid dash here and then in this case we want it to have artboard content only and you want to make sure this export selected artboards is not selected here and then here under export options um, if you ever find that this is toggled you just want to make sure that this is not selected include artboard name um, you want to make sure that is not selected there and then just file type we're going with jpeg and then we'll click to run and then what you'll notice it will just go through uh, this little process and it will um, save out each one of these um, digital papers into their own file and then once it's done it will just give you this message artboards to files was successful and then you just go ahead and click on ok and then if i just open up that um, file here we can see that it saved all 20 of them and then we have our Christmas plaid here at the front and then we also have our um, we see that our dimensions are correct and our resolution is what we want so that's just a quick way to um, save out your digital paper if you like using templates be sure to check out my di digital paper lab collection um, of Photoshop templates which gives you um, various templates for uh, 20 paper packs, 10 paper packs. Um, also is included is um, 50 essential Photoshop patterns. And then there's also a template to create um, 50 different papers of one pattern with 50 different colors. And I'll leave a link to add Digital Paper Lab in the description below. Thank you for watching this video on how to use uh, my product plaid pattern maker be sure to check out the link um, in the description below where you can uh, purchase this product i hope that you enjoy creating patterns uh, using this set this is trisha from lemon paper lab see you next time